I'm Robert Verdi from Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week right here in Bryant Park in the heart of New York City. And this is the crossroads where celebrity meets style. So let's check out what emerging trends are happening with our celebrity friends. We don't know what we're gonna see today. We're gonna see some wonderful things. We may see some insane things. Do you have pieces in your closet that are go-to pieces? I have um, fat pieces, middle pieces, and thin pieces. Hello. What is it about those designers that they always come up with something that you feel you must have? Do you prefer costume over flashy bling bling? I do, I do, I do. I love I costume do too. Jewelry. My daughter thinks I'm nuts. No, no, it's so much fun and you don't have to insure it. Do you wear Michael Kors? I do, and I wear Brioni, and I wear some others, but he's certainly one of our favorites. He's great. Well, what trends would look good on a leash? Yeah. So many things, because she's got the figure, but it's personality, too. The bold things. Bold and strong. Same things are modern and strong. That's what I would suggest And you. beautiful shapes. You know, sometimes what you don't see is a lot more sexy than what you do see. And I think that uh, that mystery is important in the chemistry of sexual attraction. Guys are very gay about their uh, grooming. I will say that they tweeze their eyebrows, they moisturize. It's sort of like Poison versus Boy George. They're like exactly the same thing, and yet one is supposedly so butch and one is so gay. Have you seen anything that you're obsessing about? Well, I was kind of obsessed with the hair this morning. The girls kind of had little, they were like bobs, but they were curled under, so it looked really 60s, and um, sort of had these headbands on with it. So it just was a really cool look. I'm very safe. If I have any doubts, I don't wear it. If you have a stylist, they'll, they'll they, they may see something that you don't. They may say, Michelle, we've never seen you in this. I know it'll look great on you. So it's good to have a style. They help you take a risk, and then you find out something about yourself that you didn't know, like, oh, I can really wear this. In a way, I've kind of become my own stylist, in a way, because I've, at this point in my career, in my life, I know what works for me and absolutely what doesn't work for me. I don't try to be trendy. If something works and, honey, I put it on this bootylicious booty and it don't look good, gotta go. A lot of celebrities are designing bags now. You're doing it, Tinsley Mortimer's doing it. Yeah. A lot of people are getting it. Is that a celebrity trend at the moment? Maybe, I mean, I think it's amazing that so many people are wanting to delve into different aspects of the fashion and entertainment industry. That is a fantastic version and of a tennis bag. This is called the Lydia bag. Basically, there's no such thing as a faux pas anymore. You can be a very couture, snotty socialite, or you can be like an existentialist, kooky, graphic chick. You know, it's really, it's a great time to be a woman because you can express yourself. There's no such thing as like, oh, you can't wear short because that's out. You can't wear midi or you can't wear high waist. It's all concurrently represented somewhere. So you'll never go out of style? Never. Well, you might. I hope not. <laughs>